the grass on the underside of the snow. And the summer had smelled so sweet, now all I smell is cold. Your brother lived there on the other side of the road. Do you still count the days before he makes his way? As you guys can see, another horrible, ugly looking log here on the sawmill. This thing is like three foot long. Looks terrible on the outside, all the bark's off of it. A little bit of inset damage in the sapwood, but no big deal on that. Just like the timber from yesterday, this one here should have some nice crotch figure hiding in it. But I'm telling you, we're going to have Christmas as soon as we open this log up right here. It's going in two different directions on the side, and it's got a third, uh, looks like a limb or a defect or something coming out of the front of it there. I'm not sure what's going on there. But we should have some fantastic figure right there. We might have some open grain crotch wood on the front of it. And on the sides, we'll have the crotch wood going in both directions. So it should be some really good stuff here in this log. And after this one is finished, over here is a big white oak. Now I got some fencing to saw up here for the farm, but this white oak right here is too nice for fencing. The pith is nice and straight, and the bark is really straight on the sides of it, so it should produce some really nice lumber. And since it's a pristine log, we're gonna be quarter sawing it. That's gonna take a little bit longer, but you get those nice medullary rays and the stable lumber. So uh, that's some really good furniture grade lumber right there come out of that timber. And behind it is some really low grade white oak logs and that's what we'll use for the fencing boards. So first up is this ugly little walnut right here. And we'll follow that one up. We'll start to quarter saw the white oak. Stay with us here guys. We're gonna open up both these timbers. If you haven't already hit the like button and if you have time, uh, follow the link down below in the comments and the video description and go over to FedEx site and vote for my business on there. So let's get to sawing. Right now guys, we got two nice crotch slabs out of this. They're both nine quarter. I was hoping for three, but we got two, which isn't bad. Now, this is the best face on both of them. This one over here has no defects at all. And this one here, like I showed you on camera, the front is nice and solid. But however, the rear of it, or the back, has got a pretty good sized void there. 
this isn't wonderful news, but it's okay. After this thing dries, you can actually do some epoxy fills back here in the back and stabilize this whole area and a bow tie or two and have the other face as your show face. So this ain't a big deal. And I'd rather it not be here, but it's not a total loss by no means. Because uh, the way people are doing those epoxy pours nowadays, you can fix just about anything with epoxy if you pour it into a cavity like this. Let's throw some water on it now and see how it looks. Very nice. 